Hi, I'm Christian Hollis with Clocks by Hollis, and I work with my dad. We own this place. I'm going to do pivots today. We are, what we like to do is this is a machine. This is called the lathe. It spins these at high uh, speed, and we always have to make sure they're nice and straight first. Straight as we can, anyway. We pound them very gently, get it as straight as we can. And if they show anywhere at all, we have to take it off because this is where it spins in the plate and it could it's like a screw and get in there and just stop inside the plate so we get it up to speed it's kind of wobbly right now but I straighten it out so then I get in here with some paper sometimes this doesn't need a file but some of them do and I just lightly go, go over the pivot so it's nice and shiny See. Sometimes it takes a little longer, depending on the state of the pivot. But uh, we do this for every clock, if it needs any kind of work done to it like that. And then after that, we've also got the bushing machines over here, which are used for putting in, uh, let's get this light on, putting in these, these kind of bushings. See, all it is just a, people would call them bearings too, I guess. But you know, it is just a piece of brass, and they come in different sizes for different pivots. And that, that was a pivot there, and that would probably take something like uh, something like this size here. That would take one of these, very small. And uh, we use different size bits for that. We've got, right now we've got this bit. We've got this bit. We just, we just pick out which size is going to fit, and we drill out the hole, we drill out the old metal that, that's all uh, worn and we replace it with new metal in this and we come over here and we pound the bushing in and we go broach it in the other room which is just fine tuning its size. They have lots of tools for multitudes of different sizes and we use these to go in and get the hole to the exact dimension that the, that the pivot needs to, to fit in. Okay, we have all the tools necessary to do anything we need to do on a clock. We have the mainspring winder right here, which is for getting uh, mainsprings into really tight barrels. We have all these different uh, pieces right here. Now, mainspring is just a big coil, just a big strap of metal that's made out of spring steel. And we, we take that up and we coil it up into the mainspring. We put it in, we, we slam it. I'm not going to show you the whole process now. Because it's pretty involved. <laughs> maybe you would understand it, maybe you wouldn't. But we've got the tool to do it with. Uh, we've got uh, buffing wheels here. We've got the grinder. We've also got a lot of lot of repairmen don't even know what this is. They've got oxy set. We've got oxy settling rig with with uh, hard solder, silver solder that we use, and the right kind of flux. So a lot of repairmen don't do that they like to use the lazy way out and use the soft solder which is not as durable but we use the the good stuff so so it's going going to last